Hello friends, welcome to the channel. Click on the subscribe button to get the notification for the latest released videos. In today's example, we have a typical scenario wherein we have caught the restaurants and we have caught the item types they are serving and the payment types that we have. And we want to display in the report how many restaurants are there which are which are accepting the payment by cash or credit card and the respective ones so the problem here is we have got this data here but the data is in uh, data the, the type is split by comma so let's see how we can do this so in power bi we connect to this particular excel workbook and this file i'll share it in the description below you'll find the link for getting this file so we get the data we connect to this workbook and this is the one that we have the spelling is not correct but that is okay uh, so we got the restaurant names in this one we want to do the transformations out here so let me just quickly click on transform data Herein, what we want is we want to split this in the rows only. That means for each of the rows, we should have a chorus uh, means this row instead of this row, one single row, we should have four rows with each row uh, having the particular payment type. So there's an option out here. So we can right click here and select split column by delimiter I can split it on the basis of the delimiter that I have is comma and uh, here in I can split leftmost rightmost or each occurrence each occurrence is fine with me however if I just split it on the basis of the default options it will create the corresponding columns here for example we will have the rest payment type dot one as card payment type 2 as credit card and so on so let me show you how it will be like so if i select ok so it will create something like this i do not want it to be like this i want the corresponding rows to be created so what i do is i tap means i do the same thing again by doing the double click in the applied steps i can open it again and now i select the advanced options I see that I want to split it in the rows and click on OK button. Let's see what this does. Wow, it has done the work for me. So corresponding to that first row, what I have got is credit card, debit card, wallet. These are the options which it accepts. And similarly, I can do it for item types as well. And I can say split column by uh, delimiter again and I select in the advanced options rows only I can do this and similarly I get one for each vegetarian and non vegetarian which I'm not going to do now but if required you can do it okay and uh, let me uh, change the name as well restaurants click on close and apply so we got the data that we needed in the required format so if I go to the report now and here in let me just select the clustered column chart I can select from the restaurants the payment type in the axis and the maybe the count of these items that is I'll get the cash etc and everything so I select the this one uh, in the values I select these values out here so we get here 
so in terms of cash how many these are there six restaurants so I select count count distinct so we get the same thing and let me select right click that's it so let's let's have a look at the data how many restaurants are there so we can see let me see that i want to filter it on the cash let's see how many are there so one two three four five six so what it shows us what we have done is split it up from the basis of problems okay. thank you friends